I don't like labels. That's what my ex-girlfriend told me in a poor attempt to let me down easy. I tried my hardest to reason with her and convince her otherwise, but it proved no avail. While the same could be said of me, I dislike a different kind of label, the social type. Simply put, if there were no labels, there'd be no privilege. Our benefits that are determined mostly by the circumstance one is born into. That being said, stereotypes play a vital role in that. For example, economic privilege is largely based on what class one is born into. The United States has prided itself on this whole the American dream motto and that there is an opportunity for upward mobility. It can be something as little as a tattoo in a job interview. Every kind of social privilege is linked to some form of maltreatment of a group in the past. Racial, blacks were enslaved. Gender, women are denied suffrage. Gender identity, transgenders were not allowed in certain public places. Sexuality, it was illegal to be homosexual. Religious, millions of Jews are persecuted. Everyone likes to think we're currently living in such an advanced and post insert oppression of various group society, but the truth is we don't. It is more evident now than ever in the language some people use every day. Nigger, bitch, fat, kike. The list goes on and on. These words, obviously derogatory slurs, are still linked with injustices these people face. And although it's nice to think it's all in the past, but it's still alive today. I couldn't imagine being gay and listening to a priest who's supposed to be viewed as an extension of God himself. Preach that something that I am, something that I have no control over is wrong. I couldn't imagine listening to a priest who is supposed to absolve sins, but instead is preaching that I'm living in sin. It reminds me of the irony of the Founding Fathers. All men were created equal, yet there were slaves all around. This all goes back to labels and how to a certain extent they define you. A gay person in theory could live the holiest life, do all sorts of wonderful things, win the Nobel Peace Prize, yet they're still discriminated against in the Catholic Church because in the Bible it says marriage is between a man and a woman. Marriage to whoever one loves shouldn't be a privilege only somehow. It sounds cliche, but I don't understand why society can't see through the first label into what is underneath. Because that is what should define someone. I can get married in whatever US state I want. I can hold hands and kiss my significant other whenever I want and no one will look at me any differently. I don't know how the government continues to make the decisions they make or the Catholic Church continues to preach the things they preach, knowing the ramifications it has. I no longer think, well, it doesn't apply to me or it'll take too long to fix anyways. I grew up in Catholic schools, going to church every Sunday, and now I finally have the mindset to not accept the religious beliefs that were handed to me. More than anything else, I've learned to dig deeper and look past the labels that even I create in everyday life. So the only thing to even out privilege for everyone would be to get rid of the negative labels altogether.